Hey there, welcome to Mary Grace Media. Whether you're here for the first time or the hundredth time, I'm really glad you found me and I hope you enjoy the content. I'm just gonna encourage you to jump right in and if you do like it, make sure you subscribe, follow, share, leave comments and go check out my website, marygracemedia.com and I just pray that God blesses you and your family and that you walk in his peace all the days of your life. Oh, Marcy, you're first. Good evening. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, lots of familiar faces. Welcome. You are here for Music with Mary Grace, Sunday night, March 1st. And um, if you're new, welcome. If you're coming back for the hundredth time, you're welcome. Good to see everybody here. And um, we've got some great worship lined up tonight. Um, notifications worked. That's awesome. It's good to see everybody. I can't really see your names from where I'm sitting because <laughs> the names show up in like light gray. People have been telling me, hey Delia, people have been telling me that they, um, they're having trouble watching my broadcast on Twitter, that it comes in and cuts out. And so if that's you, if you're trying to watch on Twitter, please uh, try to go to the Periscope app. And the other thing that I would ask that is for your benefit as well as mine is that if you can put a profile picture on your account, that helps everybody to see, thank you, to help everybody see that you're actually a real person and not a bot, not a Russian bot. So anyway, that's just some housekeeping. And again, I'm Mary Grace. This is Mary Grace Media. And you can follow me on this channel. You can also go to my website, marygracemedia.com, and you can find uh, links to all of my social media. And um, that'd be great. So everybody, is, how's everybody doing? Is everybody having a good night? A good March 1st? Feels like spring is coming. <clears throat> um, good, 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 yeah. By the way, Marcy, thank you for giving me super hearts all the time. That's kind of, that's nice. You don't have to do it. I just, I don't think I've ever thanked you. So just thank you. Um, anyway. And I do have moderators in the chat. So if you're feeling a little rambunctious and you um, are trying to uh, be obnoxious, the moderators are going to take care of you. So I don't sing on command, by the way. Um, yeah, thank you. Ooh, I'm seeing some old people here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. So how about, um, thank you also to the people who've been praying about Mary Grace Media, praying for me, holding me up in prayer. It is, um, it's a little bit, um, I don't know what you mean by old. It's today's been one of those days, you know, it's just been like not a bad day. I've just felt like it's like there's a push, you know, like a a struggle to try to get um to get to this point in the day. Have you guys ever had days like that? And so um so I just want to thank the people who who pray on a regular basis or who pray when I ask and it really makes a difference. So just thank you guys. Um so we're going to start with a couple of songs just to, to bring our hearts and our minds into a place of uh, <laughs> into just worshiping and being in the presence of God. <sighs> Thanks, guys.
says about you and with who you are. Because our soul is our mind, will, and emotions. And trust me, um, if today is any indication, the mind, will, and emotions are not always willing to do what it is that the Spirit of God is calling us to do, which is to be in worship. And so if that's you, which we all are in that place, right, where we're going from glory to glory, sometimes we just have to tell our soul, So this song is a song that I, is like from the 90s, and I just uh, was reminded of it yesterday. And um, you know, in the in the Bible, in the Psalms, in the time of the Bible, and even in the, as, as late as the 19th century, um, towns in the Middle East and in Europe, you know, they're, they're heavily, they're, they're, they've been heavily fortified. And if you've ever been to Italy, right, you, in, the, in the, hill, the hills of Italy, all of the hill towns in Italy are um, usually built up on a high hill, and they're walled, you know, just like the city of Jerusalem. And then around the walls are ramparts. And so anytime anybody, a, a, a civilization or a community or a tribe needed to be safe, they, they had to hide within the walls of the city. And they were always at war. This, I, I use Italy as an example because they were constantly at war. Every single region in Italy was its own city-state. And even to this day, there's a very strong um, identity with the little city-state that you're from. For example, cities like Siena, Assisi, they're all within walls. And so when the psalmists were writing songs about being in the safety 
of a, of a stronghold or in a rampart. They, they had a vision of a walled city and, um, and of the, the safety of being within the walls of that city. And, um, and so, you know, we live in a time where, I don't know, it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> We're in dangerous times. But, you know, there's so many things coming at us all the time in the spirit, um, in the natural. You know, there's all this fear about this crazy virus thing. And, um, but you know, we're, we're safe in God. God is our stronghold. He's our refuge. And so, um, this is a song that I think really speaks to that. And so, you know, let your, let your soul rest in God because he is, he is your strong tower.
That, that song is a song that a lot of people need to latch on to and go back and play the replay and just listen and soak in that. God is so good. He's so, so good. And yes, that was a John Michael Talbot song, for those of you who remember that era. It was. Yeah. Very restful.
Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sometimes this happens. All right, here, here we go. How's everybody doing? So if you're new, welcome. I'm Mary Grace. This is Mary Grace Media. And um, we're just doing a little bit of Sunday night worship.
Did you know that God is in your past, your present, and in your future? It's amazing, but he is. So he is yesterday, today, and forever. He is I am. He's not I was. He's I am. It's pretty cool. If you think about that. Because he can not only redeem your past, he can make restitution. He can rebuild. He can start you anew. Which is awesome. Thank you. What's your name? Can't see it. I'm just taking a break. I'm going to get on the piano in just a second. Millie's here. Good to see you, Millie. Thank you to my moderators for handling the chat. I appreciate that. If you ever do get muted or blocked by accident, um, and you don't think you should have been, you can, um, the best way to handle that is to send me an email at info at marygracemedia.com and then we'll sort it out. It happens sometimes because the chat goes fast and sometimes people come in and go crazy. So don't take it personally. Unless you're doing things you shouldn't do, then you can take it personally. But hopefully you're going to be in order. Hey there, good to see you. I've been thinking about you all week. I hope you had a good week. I hope you had a good week. So, anybody having any um, anything they'd like to share? Any impressions during the worship? Releasing dreams. That's good. God speaks to people in dreams, huh? A lot. I think that we're coming into a, a, um, a heightened time. I'm glad too, Michelle. I'm, I think that we're coming into a time of more dreams. So if you are somebody that hasn't ever had dreams, um, you know, God speaks to people through dreams. He, he does it all through the Bible. It's, it's biblical. He spoke to Mary, or to Joseph in a dream, sorry. And um, he spoke to Daniel. He spoke to many, many people in dreams. And, um, and so, um, so just ask him, you know, for dreams and then get in the habit of, of writing them down or, or get your phone nearby and have your voice recorder ready so that the minute you wake up, you can dictate your dream. Um, if you're like me, sometimes you're so asleep that you can't even remember you wrote it down. <laughs> just just have something nearby. And then, um, because it's like, when God gives you dreams, just like anything else, he wants you to steward them, which means that you take it seriously and you make a deposit and you write it down and you ponder it and pray about it. You know, it's not, it's not something he wants you to just throw away. So that's just something to think about. Um, with dreams. So, thank you. Appreciate that.
sits on heaven's mercy seat. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on heaven's mercy seat. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Flashes of lightning, rolls of thunder. Blessing and honor, strength and glory and power be to you, the only wise King. Holy, holy, holy is the With all creation I sing, praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Think about that I just want you to listen to this because you know people think of God as like this um, I don't know big white grandpa in the sky sometimes but the truth of the matter is when you when you're in the presence of God um, thank you Brianna um, when you're in the presence of God you know he's he's alive and and if you've ever had an encounter or you've ever had, had a heavenly encounter or anything with the angels, the God is is all all the there's co all the colors are magnificent, and so just think about this because you know he's not boring at all. Golden rainbows, a living color, flashes of lightning. and honor, strength and glory and power be to you the only wise King. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. creation I sing praise to the King of Kings you are my everything and I will adore you
It's always good to know you guys are here. If you touch the screen and hit the hearts, I know you're there. And um, I also like when you send me your testimonies of what God's doing in your life. You can email me, Mary Grace Media. Um, info at marygracemedia.com. Stress level going way down. That's awesome. Yeah, the the you know the spirit of God is. Um, <laughs> thank you. God is you know Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus he Himself is our peace. And a lot of people go to a lot of different places to find peace, but when you have Jesus inside of you, he he is peace. So he infuses your body with peace and your mind. And so, um, you know, the part about telling your soul to rejoice in him, that's the part where um, we we have to, it's a discipline, you know, you, you have to really be transformed by the renewing of your mind because when you ask Jesus to come into your heart and to live inside of you then he's there he takes up residence and so it's just a question of getting to know him just like any relationship and um and you have the Holy Spirit who helps you he's your helper and so you have the the greatest resources not just in the universe, but outside of the universe, supernatural. And so a lot of people don't even know that. They don't understand it. They live their whole lives as a Christian, and they don't understand that they have access to the, the greatest source of peace ever, bar none, because it's Jesus. And that's in Ephesians. He himself is our peace. And so um, he just wants you to know that. When you 
scripture you know the things that God has for us to do they're impossible in the natural but he's beyond that and so um so this song this song is a healing song somebody just said they have hernias so we're going to pray for complete mending of that as we sing and just 
you know, just receive what God has for you. Just receive it. The more I seek you, the more I find you. The more I find you, the more I love you. I want to sit at your feet, drink from the cup in your hand, lay back against you and breathe. Feel your It's overwhelming. I want to sit at your feet, drink from the cup in your hand, lay back against you. And just breathe. Feel your heart beat. This love is so deep. It's more than I can stand. I melt in your peace. It's so. in your hand lay back against you and just breathe feel your heart beat this love is so deep it's more than I can stand I melt in your peace so overwhelming your peace lay back against you and just breathe When, when somebody just put up in the chat that they have, there's a newborn in the NICU, a premature baby. And um, this part of the song, when I was singing this, I just saw the baby just laying on the chest of God. And his, the heart of God was beating. I don't know if you know, like when, when newborns, when babies are premature, there's like skin to skin contact and feeling the heartbeat of the mother is important for their development. And, um, and I just saw that, but I saw that the baby was being held just by Jesus, you know, and, and just feeling the heartbeat of God. And so um, just everybody, just agree with me on that. I want to sit at your feet, drink from the cup. 
cup in your hands lay back against you and just breathe It's more than I can stand. I melt in your peace. It's overwhelming. time you must have heard the Holy Spirit because God is healing tonight and you have such a good testimony um, and we're just uh, believing for healing God's healing mountains are still being moved strong be believing for the cancer to be healed that's you know some things things have big words and they and the bible says that we're to put down everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of god and that's the big things you know like cancer and because the devil wants you to think that that's too big right and um you know michelle's aunt was healed of cancer and uh, and and we have a couple of other friends who were healed of cancer, 
And so just, just by being in the worship and the presence of God and, um, and so, you know, share this, send it, send it to her or send it to the family. And, you know, they don't have to believe because, um, you know, there are stories in the Bible of Jesus healing people who didn't even know him. And, um, you know, maybe they've fallen away from their faith. Maybe they don't know that he can heal them. Maybe they don't believe that Jesus heals, but he does. And we've seen it. And so we receive it. And, you know, God told me one thing that, one thing about his work and his move is that a lot of people, he said, you know, what I do is really simple, but a lot of people don't experience because they don't, they don't want to participate. They're not willing to participate. And so um, those of us who are here, we're participating and God is opening up new pathways and new ways to hear and see. And so, you know, we're the people, we're the ones who take that and we carry it to the places that we go and change the atmosphere. And so even over the airwaves, we can do that because that's our territory. And that's one reason I'm on social media is because, um, you know, there are people who say that we should go to places where it's safer and where we have our voice heard more. But, you know, God can get the word out anywhere. And so we're not going to shrink back. And when David went up to the Philistines, um, when David went to the Philistines and his brothers and all the army, all of Saul's army had been defeated by the Philistines and the Philistines were giants. And so, you know, they, they were big and they, they were exalting themselves against the knowledge of God. And David walked up and he said, who, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that would exalt itself that would come against the armies of the living God. And so as a believer who has Jesus in your heart, you can literally say to the cancer, to the coronavirus, to the, um, to the um, hernias, to the sore back, whatever it is, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that would rise up and come against the armies of the living God? Because our God is bigger than that. Our God is a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. Mountains are still being moved. Strongholds are still being loosed. Now I believe. Now I can see that wonders are still what you do. Bodies are still. So I want to tell you guys that before I came on tonight to play, I was messaging people <laughs> and asking for prayer because the the weight, the fatigue that I was feeling was so strong that I I wanted to go take a nap and never wake up. <laughs> I was that tired. And it, it was like, you know, I felt like it was trying to keep me from doing worship because you know the devil doesn't want people to get free and so he's going to come against um anything that that would um bring freedom to god's people and so um so here we are you know and i, I could have just said no i'm just going to wait a week and i thought about it <laughs> and um and so you know here we are just in the presence of god and i just Thank you, Jesus, for getting, um, for reviving me and for bringing everybody and for your healing.
It's so good.
body it's more than I can stand I melt in your peace it's
breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough.
good. God is good. Yes, he's amazing. The presence of God is so strong. It's my prayer that, that everybody listening will have an intimate understanding of who God is, of who Jesus is, that he's with you, with you, that he's the ancient one, he's the I am, he's here, he's present, his love is present in your life, and he wants to teach you and grow you in the depths of his love. I think my worshipers are in a far off place. <laughs> you 
you guys still there? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for your presence, for your healing, for your goodness, for your grace, for all that you're doing, for our, for our life, for the life that you are pouring into us. And I thank you that, that it's your will for us to be whole and complete and joyful and filled with the Spirit so that we can be a conduit of blessing and of the atmosphere of heaven in the places that we go. That wherever we go, the atmosphere changes and that people in the room do a double take and they want to be near you because, because you manifest the presence of heaven and the power of God, that your faith is infused with power, not just words because he has given us not fear, but we have power and love and a sound mind. And so if you are new to this, if you're just coming into this scope and you're just finding this music and you have been searching for peace, you are invited to listen and to meditate and to receive the peace of God through Jesus. That's the only way to peace. It's the only truth that there is. The spirit of truth is here and he's available to you. And so I encourage you to play this on replay and soak and meditate and hear what God has to say to you and ask him to speak to you in your dreams because he will. He will. Don't be afraid. He says that a lot. Fear not. It's me. So you may be experiencing things that you haven't. Um, you sang? Oh, okay. You may be experiencing things that you've never experienced in your spirit. And if that's the case, even if you're a Christian, there may be things that you're experiencing that you never have. And so I encourage you to reach out. There are people on this scope right now that you can talk to, that you can reach out to. Andrea's here, um, Andrea Joy, Sing to I Am, Michelle, um, Millie was here earlier. You know, and you can email info at marygracemedia.com because God is moving on his people. And he wants, he wants his children to be operating at full capacity. And so that's what he's doing. And he's calling you into a deeper place. He's calling you into a place of strength and character. He's calling you to be the one that's standing watch on the walls of the fortress, not just hiding inside, but standing on the strength of who he is in you. So that's my, my encouragement for you tonight. And um, so I'm glad everybody came. I feel like I don't want to end it just yet. I think there are people who just need to soak in this atmosphere of what God is doing. Thank you for the hearts. So if you have a comment or a question that's applicable, go ahead and throw that in there. Not throw it, just type it. <laughs> it's really good to see everybody. What's your name? Is it Hilder? Hilda? <clears throat> Is that your name? I don't think I've seen you before. Do you follow Praying Medic? 
a lot of people invited followers tonight. If you if you are just here here for the first time or you're just getting here, if you can follow Hilder Valkyrie. Um, so if you're if you're here for the first time or you want to share this, okay, thank you. Hit the arrow at the bottom of your screen and then go up to the button that says um, share from beginning, and that way it'll it'll share right at the beginning, which is nice because then you people don't catch me you know mid word or something where I'm going. <laughs> it's kind of funny when people share from the spot that they're in because it, invariably I'm like I'm talking and my mouth is all weird and I'm going. So somebody, if you shared right then, that's what's going to show up on Twitter. Um, you can also share this on Facebook. You can take that arrow and you can copy. You can copy the link and then you can paste it into an email to a friend. You can paste it into a text. You can paste it onto... Um... <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's very humbling. You can paste it on into, into Facebook in a private message. Whatever you want to do, I'm, you're welcome to share. And... Um, one day I'm going to have all of my scopes up on my YouTube channel. Won't that be awesome? <laughs> I need an assistant to do that for me. <laughs> it takes so much time to upload everything. Mm. But it'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Rich was here. Prophetic Rich. I saw him come in. Did you see him, Michelle? He was here and then he left. He might have had something else going on. I didn't get to say hello to him. So if you watch the replay, Rich, I did see you. Thanks for coming. There's a lot of people I don't I don't see when they come in. But yeah. Yeah, I did see him. Yeah. So I wanted to say one thing while Andrea is here. Andrea, maybe you're busy doing something else, but I did want to tell you guys that Andrea Joy has a book coming out this Friday. And if you, um, if you go to her, can you say something, Andrea? Are you available to chat? Because I, I, um, I can't remember your website. She has a book coming out. It's called The Path of Truth. And I was really privileged to be able to write an endorsement for her book. And it's a book about your spiritual journey and it focuses on the lies we believe as Christians and as non-Christians. But it's the things that, that plague us and keep us from growing and moving forward. And it's a really neat little book because it's not very long and you can read each little section. They're like little mini stories, like fictional stories that have an application to your faith. And each one addresses the lies that we believe in our life. And so um, I'll talk about it again on Tuesday when I come on, but I do want to encourage you to keep an eye out for that because I think that the day that it launches, you can get it on Kindle, she said, for like 99 cents. Um, not that you wouldn't want to buy it full price. It, it is going to come out in print as well. And it's a kind of book that you can buy and give to people and um, it's, it's very, uh, it's very life-giving. So if you know somebody that's struggling in their Christian walk or somebody that's, that's um, fallen away or just needs encouragement or growth, I would recommend that book. And so I will talk about it a little bit more on Thursday. Um, but that's coming out Friday the 7th of March. And um, I think that's it. So if you did just find my channel, I'm Mary Grace, and this is Mary Grace Media. And I do thank you for being here tonight. And I thank you for, um, for just coming in and participating and for being a part of what we're doing. And you can find me at marygracemedia.com. You can also find me on Twitter and um, Facebook and Periscope and Instagram at Mary Grace Media. The book is called The Path of Truth. And Andrea is on right now, but I think she must be busy. She has kids, so she's probably putting her kids to bed. Um, and she can't stop to get in the chat right now because it's like bedtime where she is and her kids are young. So I think that's what's going on. Um, but, but hopefully she can jump in on Tuesday and then uh, we can 
give her a little plug for her book. I will be back on Tuesday at four, Thursday at four, and um, Tuesday is gonna be, it, well, both are gonna be good, but I, I do a show called Real Talk with Mary Grace, and you're not gonna wanna miss it because I've got some really good things to talk about. I've been just very, very encouraged by the Lord about a lot of the things that are happening, and I, I talk about politics and culture, and I do it from a biblical perspective, and I, I think that I think it helps people get grounded about different topics that are hot news topics. Last week I talked about some of the things that are going on um, with regard to the deep state and the, and the crimes that are have been committed, and talked about military tribunals and just the different ins and outs of what's going on politically that that a lot of people don't have a grasp on. I try to keep it simple. I try to give you the 30,000 foot view and just lay things out so that it's something that you can share with people who aren't super political and just to give them perspective on, on what it is that's really going on outside of headline news. And, uh, and so that's Tuesday and Thursday, four o'clock Eastern time, right here on this same channel at Mary Grace Media. So come back for that. And I'm gonna say goodnight and um, I really do appreciate everybody being here and thank you for all the moderators. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have an awesome, beautiful night and just rest in him. Thank you, I appreciate that. Hilda Valkyrie, I appreciate that. I'll wait for the goodbyes.